guys so I'm here with another look and it's this one that's like a <clears throat> corally yellow blue kind of a color I think it's perfect now for the summertime so I'm gonna go in front of the window so you can get a better look so if you want to see how I got this look then just keep on watching bye guys Okay, so we're going to start, and I'm going to start with my NYC in Pastel Rainbow, which is 1, 001. I already did my foundation. I'll have all that listed down below. Um, and I'm going to start with this corally orangey pink color here. I'm just going to take my Real Techniques brush. And I'm gonna. I already put my um, Ike shadow base, and I'm using just this one because I kind of think like when they bring these comes with the quad, it's meant to go with those colors. So I'm just gonna start patting it on here. gonna do the same thing on the other side and I'm just gonna pat only because since my foundation is already done I don't want the fallout to be sticking to the foundation because it's gonna be a little harder to remove then I'm going to just spray the brush just so that it's a little more I don't know, a little more intense because it's looking a little light. See? I'm gonna take some of the yellow and put it just on my inside here just to brighten it up. And I'm going to go back to it so it doesn't have to be perfect. This part here is a little wet. Then <clears throat> I'm going to take my another e.l.f. brush. I'm going to go in with, I'm going to take my chocolate bar. And I'm just going to go in with, I really hate that these don't have the names on it. i got to keep carrying around this little thing. But I'm going to take, what color is it? Triple Fudge. And I'm just going to concentrate that on the outer corner here. Go in and use this color up here, it's like a purpley something to blend that out because I still want it to be light I just wanted the corner to be a little bit Sammy and I'm blending softly because I don't want to go all the way in just on this outer corner here. Then I'm going to go back with the corally color. In case, you know, throughout all this you lose color. Just to keep that nice and bright. Like that. Then I'm gonna take that darker color and run it on my lower lash really close to the
then what I want to take is um, I'm gonna take this from Wet n Wild. It's one of those um, shiny um, cream shadow pencils, and I'm gonna take that same brush and just get a little bit on the brush so I can run along the lower lash. I want to try to avoid my waterline because these kind of things really irritate my eyes. My eyes already are irritated from just allergies, so. Like that. Then I want to take. Um, I'm gonna take some brown um, waterproof eyeliner and just run it on my top waterline. Then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to um, <clears throat> I'm going to take this pencil and I'm going to run it through the top really close to the lash line. I'm just brushing the brushing it with this brush. It's just a flat brush. And I'm going to take it really close to the lash line. Like that. Then, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my mascara. And after I put on my mascara, I'm going to see if I need to do any more shading. But, let me just put a little bit more there. Okay. I'm just going to curl it. I'm going to use the lash accelerator on the bottom. Then I'm going to take my Lash Sensational on the top. Touch of pink. And it's a pinky peachy color I'm gonna take this NYC in the color peach smoothie And that's the look. Now, this is a little more pigmented, but because when I did my foundation, I ran over my lips just to buff out any undertone colors that my lip might, 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 might like any <clears throat> pigmentation that my lip has. 
So this on top of that foundation is a little bit, um, let's see. I don't know. I don't know. So <clears throat> when you put your lipstick over the foundation, it, it gives it like a different kind of texture. But this is the final look. And I think this is perfect for now. The summer, I love these colors. I didn't use the, um, the blue because it doesn't show up much on my skin. But I think it was easy. It's called Pastel Rainbows, and that's what it looked like. Um, you, I'm going to add a little bit of the yellow just on the corner here. And I think it's pretty. I think it's perfect for this time. It's, you know, light. It isn't, even though I did try to not smoke out the edges, but just give it a little bit more of something. Um, I think it's perfect for every day, for work, for school, going out. Um, so let me know what you guys think. And let me know if you want to see any more of these summer looks. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.